Hey Monarchs, it is Halloween week. And so some of you are approaching this week with absolute trepidation because this is where no matter what your goals are, there's a lot of temptation and all of a sudden we can completely fall off the wagon. So this week is about motivating us to feel our best while there's candy surrounding us everywhere. And so I wanna talk about that. So yesterday I posted a quote of my own from my book, but basically I wanna enjoy my life I have to eat to live, so that means I need to enjoy my food and enjoy my life, right? Like it's, I gotta enjoy it. So this week, it's okay to enjoy yourself, but just like drinking, enjoy yourself responsibly. And so I wanna talk about mindset. I'm really big into mindset because I truly believe that is the root of our problems with weight. And so how many of you are looking at this week with an all or nothing mentality? I'm not gonna eat any chocolate or any candy whatsoever. So if you have even one bite, you're gonna feel guilty. Then what are you gonna do? You're going to binge. And not only are you going to have a bite of, of chocolate or candy or whatever it is, you're going to eat a bag of it because it's an all or nothing mentality. And then some of you are thinking, well, screw it, it's Halloween. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want to. That's still an all or nothing mentality. And it's not necessary, and this is where our weight struggles come from. Because it's not one snack size candy bar, which is what most people give out on Halloween. It's not one snack size of Skittles that causes us to gain weight. It's when we have 15 of those that causes us to gain weight. So I want you to think about allowing yourself permission to enjoy your food. Enjoy some candy. But think about it. What's worth it? So here's a fun story. Um, our youngest, Marcus, he had a buddy over and they um, went, took their bikes to Fry's and just bought a ton of junk food. They had bags of Doritos and, and potato chips and bags of Halloween candy. And his parents were absolutely horrified when they came home. I was like, oh my God, where'd you get the money to buy this? And this is what you bought. Anyway. So I was looking it over and I'm like, you know what? I like Almond Joys. I want an Almond Joy. And they're like, no. So I said, look, I'm going to make my homemade chocolate chip cookie dough balls, which are about this big, right? I can feel good. I have one of those. I feel really good. And I'll trade you one for an Almond Joy. So they're like, okay, salt. So I made these delicious, homemade, healthy ingredient, dark chocolate, like everything delicious, these cookie dough balls. And I've got in my mind, right, I'm going to trade this for this Almond Joy, this, almond, this manufactured, really not very good Almond Joy. And what happened was, is I did, they loved it. Of course, they thought the chocolate chip cookie ball was amazing. So I was like, yeah, here, have an Almond Joy. His friend gave me three. And I was like, okay, I'm having my Almond Joy. And I took a bite of it. And I was like, this isn't even good. Like, I'm not enjoying this. Maybe I used to. And maybe last year, last Halloween, that was my jam. But after having tasted my really delicious and much better for you dark chocolate balls, I thought, well, God, if I'm going to have these calories, if I'm going to eat this fat, if I'm going to have these carbs, I'm going to eat something that's really delicious. I'm going to chuck the Almond Joy. I know. But I'm going to throw it away, and I'm going to eat what's worth it. And that's how you break an all-or-nothing mentality. Just because I took a bite of that Almond Joy, just because I made these chocolate balls to negotiate for that Almond Joy, just because I worked these two little boys to get some almond joys. It wasn't good. Like I could have tried to convince myself it was good or been like, screw it, I started. But how would that serve me? Wouldn't have truly enjoyed it. I would have sparked a guilt binge. All for what? It doesn't make any sense. So I chucked the snack size bar and I enjoyed one of my chocolate chip cookie dough balls. And that's the mentality that'll get us through not just Halloween, but the entire holidays. What's worth it and have a little bit of a negotiation not with 12 year old boys that overbuy candy but with yourself take a bite of something and go god is this am i really enjoying this is this going to fulfill the craving no chuck it get rid of it give it away give it to the 12 year old boys and then eat something that is and then enjoy it because if you enjoy it without guilt you will be satisfied with one once again one is not where we gain our weight. It's when we eat the bag of candy that we gain our weight. 
So allow yourself to pick something you will truly enjoy and just eat that. Enjoy that. Maybe eat a little lighter earlier in the day. Maybe you make sure you get your exercise in that day. Do things that allow you to feel really good about yourself and about your decisions. So that way when you decide to eat that one thing that you know you will enjoy, you do it without guilt. You don't spark a binge and you feel really good about it the next day.